So, Assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Muhammad Saad Khalid and today I'm going to be doing this Quantium Virtual Internship Program Virtual Experience Program and I'm going to take you guys through uh, with the data set and how I'm going to filter it so it's going to be easy for you guys I'll be using both of the softwares that are R and uh, R uh, and Excel, Microsoft Excel. So, so to start with the the exploratory analysis, I'm gonna take you through by initially importing the data sets. Oh, sorry, my camera is off. So, as I was saying, that uh, I'll be taking you guys through this uh, by importing first of all the libraries. And uh, I'm using control enter to call in the libraries, but if you're not, uh, if I obviously you cannot see that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it through. Yeah. It shows that it's. Uh, the shortcut is what I just told you control enter so I'll be using control enter for executing my libraries or from the commands and simultaneously we'll be viewing what I've imported and what I want to see so I have imported P and I have imported C so let's first have a look or let's call it with the structure command and I want to see what T is so the in with in uh, as you can see here we can see that uh, transaction data shows date the store number loyalty card number, taxation ID, product number, product name, product quantity, day, year, month and there is an unwanted variable that is X so we'll be basically removing it from T let's just remove it minus 12 it's removed yes it's removed good so now what we're gonna do we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna change the date into a t uh, date format I've al already done this here so I'm just going to copy paste my own command instead of writing it down again. The difference here is that I just called with a different name previously. So let's have a look at the structure again. And it has changed as we wished. So just saving it continuously so I don't miss any data my battery is fully charged let's remove my charger for a while okay just hold on okay. so as I was saying um, now let's have a look at the structure of the customer data in customer data we have loyalty card number gain life stage premium customer that is customer category so let's just have a quick look back at the transaction data and think what do you think is wrong here first of all we have to clear out the data validation issues if we have any 
that is do we have any inconsistent data or we have to remove outliers or is the data in the correct format that I just solved as an example of the date we were having date as factorial right as a factor variable so have a look at it again and tell me in the comment section what you find found out that was wrong I hope you have figured it out that uh, many of our integers here are not actually integers for us they represent a particular category of uh, variables for example the loyalty card number is referring to a particular person or the taxation ID is referring to a particular item that is being taxed or perhaps the same customer having that taxation ID uh, product number is also a in fact a categorical variable so we have to change it and here we are going to change it I hope I have not missed this point that I have also merged here by using this merge command uh, both the data sets so I I can look at them in a go one in one go basically and now uh, as I just uh, said that uh, we'll be converting these variables into categorical variables just bear with me a little while so I'll be starting with the loyalty card number yes. factor I have to write this again have to do with the other variables too store number so I should pause it right so you guys can do it yourself it's the same thing repeatedly with different variables that's all that's gonna be So, um, you can see here that, uh, please do have a look, I just used to convert these different formats into the format that we needed them to be in order for them to make some sense out of it. So do have a look and do tell me if I'm, I've done something wrong here. Although I can see that I have missed one do let me know if you found it I will do it right here and right now so product number is as dot factor with k o p as product number and there you go let's check it again I hope I have not missed anything right now. Okay. So let's check. Hmm. The total sales and product quantity obviously have a positive correlation. So let's keep on saving it so that so that we don't yeah so we are gonna see one thing again and that that what do we need to do we need a better understanding of the types of customers who purchase chips purchase chips and the purchasing behavior within the region sorry for that and um here's the task let's have through with the task once again uh, we need to present a strategic recommendation to Julia blah 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 the client is particularly particularly interested in the customer segments and the chips purchasing behavior so now let's go to the product name so we can have
better understanding of what products we have and which ones are sold the most and on which days and on which which time of the year and so on now as per me uh, myself i would like to see the relationship of product quantity and the total sales along with if we have any outliers or not and if we have an outlier and if we have an outlier then uh, how are we going to remove it and if if or not we are going to remove it and uh, then we can also see if the buyer of that particular product is uh, important to us so let's just copy it because i have done it before in case sorry just take the wrong file my mistake I guess I have not done it here so I'm going to do it anyways so plotting the k o p just hold on a second guys sorry for the confusion and interruption uh so products product quantity and product sales pro sorry product quantity against total sales total sales is not found okay so What this happened? I don't know why it's working like that, but I'm sure that I can figure it out. Just need a little patience. So yes, <laughs> we can see in this graph that. Uh, it's definitely an anomaly here an outlier that 200 is bought for 650 but that is that is definitely definitely an outlier you can see it here this is definitely an outlier since it's showing an abnormal behavior what happened not sure what happened to this plot anyhow so we're going to see uh, and then we're going to remove this to the median of this total sales no we're not going to remove it with the median of the total sales we're going to replace it with the median of or the mean of the particular purchaser because we're going to see the trend first we're going to see the trend of the particular purchaser or the particular person who buys and in which category he falls into because that is what we need to examine we need to examine the customer behavior right? regarding the chips obviously and if it's anything other than chips we're not going to pay attention to it 